Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Shell. And if you're new here, welcome. This is Salted Sea Shell Designs. Uh, my name is Shell. Um, I am a jewelry designer and a mixed media artist. I dabble in diamond painting, Timu shopping, craft hoarding, and among other things. I love to make wind chimes and jewelry, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I mostly make um, my jewelry out of uh, sea glass and driftwood. Um, and it's stuff that I have um, picked myself from the beach. Um, I live in California, so hey. Um, let me know in the comments where you're from. I would love to know who's watching me and from where. Um, if uh, you're new here, welcome. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you want to stick with me on this journey, hit the subscribe button and you can enjoy my little walk with the YouTubers. <laughs> as I like to call that everyone. Um, so today I'm finishing, or I'm gonna try to finish up Eeyore. I probably won't, but um, I have um, one uh, diamond painting I need to start for a um, two events that I'm in. One is of uh, Star from Starlight Starbright 70. She has an Eeyore event for the month of September. And then Diamonds and Things has um, seasons. So, yeah, I kind of put all of them into one diamond painting. Um, and thought, okay, what better way than to do it that way? Um, so, yeah, so uh, these are, this is the first time I've been in an event like this. I've, um, never joined one before so this is all new to me um actually the whole world of diamond painting is fairly new i've only been doing this for um about a year i have friends that have been doing it longer and they were like you should try it it's really soothing for your mental health and um if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you know my journey um, with mental illness. Um, I am a suicide survivor. Um, something that I uh, am a very uh, big supporter of um, mental health awareness and um, self-care. Those are uh, things that are very important to me. Um, September is Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and um, one day I will share my story with you guys. Um, I don't really... It'll be this month. Um, I just don't want to um, share it right now. Um, but I have a day coming that I, I am going to share it. And, and it's a special day and there's a special meaning behind that day. So, um, yeah. That's me. <laughs> um, but anyways, I... Um, totally forgot what I was saying because <laughs> I heard the guinea hens out there oh it's so funny we um my neighbors got some guinea hens and uh they stay over here they got chickens too and their chickens stayed here with us on our property um uh we all of the chickens are gone but one there's only one chicken that survived um <laughs> but it's so funny because the guinea hens are both around and one of them was gone for the longest time. She, like, we couldn't find her. I felt bad. I was like, oh no, he's all by himself. He's alone. I feel bad for him. He's out there running with the goats because he's alone, you know, and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden the other day, 
the female pops up with a little baby. <laughs> and this is the second time they've had eggs. And uh, the first time nothing um, happened. They didn't, none of the eggs survived, uh, which was sad. But this time there is one and he is a little cutie pie. I'll uh, try to take his picture and put it in the community section of uh, my YouTube. Um, but yeah, I thought that was just the cutest thing. I haven't, I've never seen the male uh, guinea hen so happy in my whole entire life as he was. Yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> So, um, let's see, now that I've totally gone off topic, <laughs> because that's just how I am, go from one thing to another to another, um, I have been, uh, I have some orders from Timu, they should be coming, I don't know what the deal is, um, they gave me the $5 already for the discount because it's late, I'm really disappointed because... Um, I want to start making um, some items for, you know, the holiday season to put into my Etsy store. And can't do that if my order's not here. So, um, and those of you who want to check out my Etsy store, I have the link in my description box. Or you can just look up Salted Seashell and I will pop up. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's... Um, Hmm, guinea hens. I hear the wind chimes now. We've got a light breeze coming through. It's supposed to be in the hundreds the next couple of days. And then uh, we're going to go back down into the low 80s, which is fine with me. Very fine. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm waiting for a Timu order. My mom, she's gotten a lot of Timu orders lately. In fact, she bought me... Um, four pairs of slippers that I was like completely shocked that she got. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, so that was nice of her to do. She's gotten a lot of wind chimes and uh, hummingbird feeders because the hummingbirds are crazy up over here. We, we, yeah, there can be like 20 to 30 at any time on the, on the porch and it's just so beautiful to listen to the wind chimes and see the hummingbirds. Um, it always reminds me of my Nana uh, growing up. They had property in uh, Jones Valley. And we would go and visit and sitting on the porch and you could just see all the hummingbirds just up there. And it, it was just, it was magical. And it, hummingbirds remind me of her. So when I see one, I always think she's around. Um, but anyways, back to... Uh, my mom ordering on Timu and then I ordered like some big Timus and then um, if you haven't signed up yet you should on uh, fetchrewards.com I have the uh, link in my description box um, you what it is it's an app that you can uh, earn points to get gift cards so like um, all your Amazon receipts, when you buy on Amazon, those count. Walmart, Instacart, um, your Gmail, if you have receipts in your Gmail account. Um, what else? Um, you, if uh, Any store that you buy from, if it's got um, a, a point on it, well, any receipt will give you 25 points. But there's also other things that give you more points and you try to, you know, get as many points as you can to get gift cards. And I always swear by it because I've gotten almost $200 worth of gift cards. Um, my last one was a $50 gift card and it's so fun and addicting to scan the receipts. Like my boyfriend's like, okay, if, he doesn't even keep the receipts anymore. He just gives them to me so I can scan them in there. He always jokes around, you know, you should give me one of your gift cards since it's all my receipts that you scan. <laughs> so anyway, so um, yeah, if you click that link and um, 
and join, uh, I think there's a special going on where they're giving 4,000 uh, 4, tokens, which is halfway to a $10 gift card. Um, and uh, yeah, so go ahead and click on my link and use my code to get that um, to get that extra uh, points. And um, yeah, I, Dollar Tree everything. They yeah, I just I love it. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm waiting for those orders on Timu. I started to play that, what is it, Fishland? But I don't have any friends on TikTok, or on, uh, excuse me, on um, Timu, so I just kind of quit playing. Because I just, you know, just wasn't something I wanted to, I don't know. I tried to get the free gifts. I think I did it once. I got three free gifts. It was kind of cool. But I just, you know, and then I got that after pay. <laughs> that was a mistake because if you're only going to have let me pay for what is it like in four payments and then <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's like a lot of orders from Timu that I could get, which I have. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was another thing that someone at work uh, told me about was Afterpay. And then, um, so over the weekend, we went uh, crabbing, if you saw the videos or the little shorts that we did. Um, it was so much fun. We were in San Francisco. Uh, it was a clear, clear day. The weather was like 65 degrees. There was a light breeze. And all I can say is we got like 20 plus crabs. The limit in uh, California, if you have a, fish, a fishing license, the limit is 35 red rock crabs per person. And uh, we had almost 20 plus, so we got a lot. Um, we threw back at least 100 crabs. Either they were too small or they were Dungeness, which is not in season until November. So um, we threw those back. We uh, met some really wonderful people that were also there fishing and um, crabbing. And it was just a really great time. Um, I just, yeah, we uh, ran out. It was so funny because we ran out of um, fish to put in. Because you have a, a crabbing pot, and in the middle of that is like a, um, a bait box. And inside that bait box, um, it's good to put like chicken and squid, anchovies and stuff like that. So that's what we did. And we stuck it in the box. Well, we ran out. And so we were looking for a, um, a bait store and it gave us the name of this shop and it was called Sports Basement. And we get all excited, all right, we're gonna get some more bait, we're gonna go back down there and get some more crab. Well, beknownst to us, it's a sports store. They had every sport but fishing gear. They had camping, they had volleyball, baseball, football, everything. Track and field, everything, but fishing. And I was just like, what? I don't get it, why? I just, I didn't understand. So we ended up having to, uh, I let my boyfriend out and had him drive, or I drove around uh, the, oh no, I got a hair. I drove around the, uh, the um, neighborhood three times while he was getting uh, bait for us. And then we went back. Let me tell you something. I do not envy anybody who lives in San Francisco I do not like crowded areas. I don't like a lot of people that can't drive. 
it's just, oh, it was horrible. So uh, it was nice to come home after a wonderful day. But yeah, that was our little uh, venture that we had. Um, and it was fun. It was really nice. And I'm really glad that we got to experience that together because him and I are both, you know, that was something that we both, um, are, it's our first time ever doing it. And so it's kind of neat that we're sharing it together. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I tried to buy a new planner for next year because um, I have one that I used this year and it's been very useful for me. But I'll tell you what, uh, I ordered one and it was not what I thought it was. It is not pre-printed for the days or months. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, I can't. I got to have something that has the days, months, and the whole year printed out for me. I don't want to have to put it in myself. So I'm still on the lookout for a really nice planner. Um, do any of you use a planner? If so, let me know um, what kind you use and uh, what help, what helps you the most with a planner. Like for me, it has to be pre-printed because I don't like uh, writing it out myself. I'd rather have it already done. It just, it's less work. <laughs> trying, to, trying to be, uh, work smarter, not harder. Isn't that what they, what they tell us? So yeah. And the drive wasn't uh, that bad from San Francisco either when we went. So but yeah, but um, Amazon, I tried to get my planner from them and it was a bust. I'll probably have to wait closer to the end of the year before I can really find one that I like. Um, which doesn't bother me. I just, I like to be prepared um, I also want to get a garden journal um, because I have plans for my journal or for my garden this year. The goats are not taking it apart. Oh, nay, nay. No, they've got another thing coming if they think they're going to take over like they did this year. That just broke my heart. You know, I... Ugh. Last year we had a really good garden and I was very much into canning and um, dehydrating and food preservation, which I still am, but I really, really want, uh, I really want my, uh, my garden. I want my fruit and, you know, vegetables that I'm growing. Oh no, that's not one. Ah! You guys, this is so funny. Y'all are going to watch me do this. <laughs> but, um, what else? Hmm. I like that. It looks so pretty. Um,. So, um, I want to thank everyone for being here. I forgot. I, how could I forget? I have my giveaway going on. Um, my 150, uh, follower giveaway. Um, find the video and, uh, that says giveaway on it and, um, answer the question and you'll be entered for a chance to win a special little gift. And I just, oh, wait a minute. Are these number two? They are. I wonder why it 
looks. Oh, it's darker. I almost was like, wait a minute. I was thinking about um, maybe selling my jewelry on the TikTok shop. I was thinking that might be, oh, okay. Uh, that might be a good thing. My son was like, Mom, you have to promise me that before the end of the year, you're going to sell some something on the TikTok shop. And I was like, ooh, I don't want to make this promise. But I told him I would check it out. So, I'm checking it out. I bought a real nice uh, face or cover for my watch here. And it, I didn't pay attention. And of course it doesn't have, it's got the, the round thing up here instead of in the middle. So it doesn't fit. Um, it was only three bucks. So, you know, I mean, even though that's not the point, I don't want to have to return it because I'm pretty sure... Uh, you know, that it's probably not worth it. I mean, it was $3, so. So, yeah, so I'm, I may, I'm going to look on Timu to see if they have, uh, have them, because I like the blingy. I like, I like things that shine. <laughs> it's one thing about me. I will, I will bling out anything and everything. Just like my car, people are like, oh, wow, she's weird. <laughs> even even my the little covers to my tire, the, uh, the little thing where you put the air at, even that's all blinged out. So, yeah. I don't know why I've always been attracted to shiny things. And it's so funny because I like how diamonds and stuff shine, but if I were to pick a stone, I would rather have sea glass as, um, like in a wedding set or whatever. I'd rather have sea glass than, um, diamonds. I know that's so weird, but I'm just weird, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's, a. Uh, That's, um, and let's see. Oh, I got my mom watching SWAT now. Um, I told her to watch that one because I figured by the time she's done watching it, um, it'll be time for, uh, Monsters, the Eric and Lyle Menendez, uh, story to be on. We watch a lot of, you know, murder shows homicide hunter and all those uh yeah and um <laughs> so because we watch them um i had her sit and watch Dahmer with me and she was like oh michelle i can't watch this <laughs> but she did she watched it all with me she as a trooper and uh we watched it in two days we binged it and uh, she's like, I don't know if I can do another show, another story like that. And I was like, don't worry, you can. But um, having her watch SWAT was a lot better. She likes those kind of shows too, so that's a good thing. So I'm going to definitely maybe try TikTok out and see how that goes. Um, 
but I do want to thank everybody who has ordered from my store. It's been a blessing. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I did have it closed. Um, I, I've had the store for 12 years, but I've been off and on, uh, I think, the last four years I haven't been on it much. I had it closed for some time because I was taking care of my mom, my aunt. Um, I do during Christmas time. I try to open it up. So at least this way here I can um, sell some ornaments and some other stuff. Just so, um, just to get a little bit of extra money, you know. Because um, who couldn't use extra money? I know I can. With everything, all my bills, holy moly. Tell you what, owning a house is no joke. I don't know why I wanted to hurry up to become an adult. <laughs> I think I enjoyed my teen years and uh, I want to be a teenager again. That's not happening. But God, what a time. I grew up in the 80s and it was just so fun for me and my friends, you know. 80s just definitely my my favorite, you know. The music, just everything. Everything about the 80s was fun. I believe. So I think I'm gonna finish this one little flower and then I'm gonna go. I have to uh, make sure my mom takes her night pills and uh, See, that looks cute already. Get out of here. I know, I am so sorry. This fly just will not leave me alone. And I've been trying to kill him for a while. And he followed me over here to the kitchen. <laughs> Little booger. Anyways, so this is what it looks like so far, y'all. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Sorry. The life of having a boy. So thank you for stopping by. Look at how pretty. Oh, oh I could have did that one right there, but she's almost done. She's getting there. I'll probably be done in a couple days. I'll be done by the weekend. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for stopping by, you guys. Um, remember to uh, like the video, and if you want to follow me, go for it. Um, subscribe button is right over there. Click it. And there's also a bell if you want to be uh, notified every time I have a video out or a short or, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and being here with me. I really enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Toodles!